गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन आवर लेक्चर ऑफ ऑफ यूनिट वन दैट इज डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री किंगडम प्लांटी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिविजन जिम्नो स्पॉम सो हाउ वी जिम्नो वर्ड स्टैंड फॉर द नैक एंड हियर द स्पर्मा वर्ड स्टैंड फॉर द सी so the main identifying feature is that the seed develop after post fertilization is not enclosed in a fruit or we can say that they are not covered in in any of the uh, organ so they are nakedly present in them strain mainly these gymnosperms are found in uh, extreme conditions they are found to be in three types the habitat we will discuss later let's firstly discuss about that how are they found in three types of in their uh, structure first one is they are found to be in shrub of um, uh, having the branches with very uh, minute type of leaves they are called zinco plants and when they are having medium size tree not so big that is cycas plant and pinus plant some of them bear a very very tall tree near about more than 40 feet and they are called to be the tallest tree in the world that is sequoia so in this sequoia plant is mainly found in america it is not seen in our india and the people from different places come to visit this tall tree sequoia there in america further students we can uh, for give the example of tall tree in our india is the redwood trees they are they are from gymnosperm division here in gymnosperms they are generally found to be Uh, on very very extreme conditions, like sometimes they are found in very colder regions. Students, when you get the chance to visit a hill station, you may found these gymnospermic plant over there. Have you heard about the uh, Christmas tree? This Christmas tree is generally found to be in hilly areas or very very colder regions. and uh, some of these plants are also found to be in zero fetic condition now let's see that what kind of adaptation made them to survive in, in extreme condition like their root is tap root in uh, structure which is showing an association with nitrogen fixing bacteria like nostoc and Uh, cyanobacteria with them so they show a kind of relationship with the fungal one and uh, these with these bacteria which is called to be mycorrhiza secondly they have very thick cuticles with sunken stomata this sunken stomata helps in reducing the water loss when they are found to be a xerophytic condition but strain what about uh, when they are found in colder region the layer leaf is just like a needle because of this needle appearance they are generally used to, um, uh, called to be the uh, you have seen the christmas tree which have this needle like of leaf structure so strain why this uh, needle like leaf structure is there which do not allow the snow to deposit on it and help in protecting uh, in the colder region of habitats the gymnosperms are also just like heterophytes uh, they are heterosporous in nature it means that they have two different kinds of sporangineous tissues they uh, the microsporangia is the smaller one and megasporangia which is the bigger one so in this way they are heterosporous the microsporangia are giving rise to male strobili which release pollen and megasporangia further give rise to female strobili which gives ovules or eggs in some plant strain these both of the uh, female as well as male sporobili are born on the same tree 
like pinus plant uh, in pinus they both are found to be in the same tree whereas in cycas plant the male cone and megasporophyll are born on different different trees so the megasporophyll mother cell is further differentiated from one of its cells of nucellus and this nucellus is for protected by a kind of envelope and composite structure that is called to be ovule so students these ovules are born on megasporophyll which call which uh, form a kind of female cone we can see here how these cones are showing different in their structure so here in this diagram you can see that how these female cones are there and the male cones are found to be these female cones are broader in shape with shorter a uh, structure uh, and stunted structure whereas the male one is elongated in structure these are the fruit that is for called to be cone conical in form student uh, these are generally used for the ornamental purposes okay, uh, to the plain area people when they when they go in hilly areas they bring such kind of fruit these are developed and they are found to be in pinus plant that they are generally you uh, used by those people for uh burning purposes because the temperature is very low in that area so they use such kind of wood like structure for burning them and whereas the plain area people bring them this kind of conical structure to uh, uh decorate their house as an ornamental purpose yes students just like the teratophytes and bryophytes the gymnosperms the uh, gymnosperms male and female gametophyte do not have a independent free living existence they retain with their sporangineous tissue of sporophyta and the pollen grain is released from the microsporangium which are carried by the uh, by uh, the wind pollination or air currents and come in contact with the opening of ovules born on mega sporophyll so the pollen tube carrying the male gametophyte grow towards the archegonia in the ovule and then they discharge their content in the archegonia that's after following fertilization the zygote develop an embryo and uh, embryo and the ovules into seeds so seeds are due to this reason not covered in them this is how gymnosperms are reproducing in atmosphere when they are mainly called to be uh, their main benefit for the ecosystem is formation of mycorrhiza which is generally seen in pinus plant and some of the cycas plant for fixing uh, atmospheric free nitrogen way of cyanobacteria so here students this is all about the gymnosperm and this is all about the gymnosperm so students uh, please go through the topic and learn them by heart and this gymnosperm also helps in further development of angiosperm which will which will be our next topic for uh, Uh, for discussion, so friend, especially please remember the structure of this female cone and male cone. Generally, these are present in our lab also. So when offline classes will be there, you can see these cones in your lab. Uh, so friends, learn about the gymnosperm. Write down their characteristic features as well. Uh, mention how are they reproducing. with their heterosporophytes uh, so students this is all for the gymnosperm you please uh, and you read the topic be safe at your home and have a nice day thank you and have a nice